So, WB2K20 might just be the most negatively received WB video game of all time, and the game's not even out yet. And speaking of the game being out, it's coming out October 22nd. By the time you guys watch this video, it's gonna be September 22nd, so it's officially a month away. They've posted up 13 videos on this game. 1, 2, just double checking here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're not going to count this one. So 13 videos. And within these 13 videos, there is just seconds of game footage and not gameplay. They've only shown game footage, camera shots, zoomed in camera shots of moves, and these entrance shots and entrances, which are just, you know, cutscenes. And they keep on doing this over and over and over again. The big reveal, right, was supposed to be the biggest reveal yet that they've done for a WB video game. And yet, most of the video is just Woods talking, revealing the new features of the game, which are very minimal, by the way. Not that many new features, and the ones that are coming in aren't that big of a deal. And we just get seconds of game footage. And in some cases, we get some 2K19 footage, right? And initially, it wasn't too bad as far as the reaction to it, at least when it comes to the, you know, dislikes, still less than 10% here, 488 dislikes to 5k likes. There was a lot of negative comments though. And they kept on doing this. They kept on posting up these videos with people just talking like this one with Roman Reigns talking for most of the video. And then you got seconds of this, this game footage right here. And that's it. Just these zoomed in camera shots, no actual gameplay, uh, it, it's not going to look like that when we're playing it. But even though they've shown these this game footage and not actual gameplay, I think most of us who've played these games you know, for a while can tell just from the seconds of game footage that this looks just like 2K19. Apart from the lighting, it looks just like 2K19, it looks like it's going to play just like 2K19. And if you ask me the reason why we've gotten so little information or so little you know, uh, actual gameplay footage or no gameplay footage is because they know it themselves. And I said it in the last video, they don't want to show you that it looks just like the last year's game. They prefer to show you these, you know, uh, change entrances or entrances with new lighting or whatever to, to try and, you know, get your attention away from the gameplay that just looks just like 2K19 and 2K18 and all of that. And just, it just kept on going on, but people are catching on. People... People aren't dumb here, they see that 2K just keeps on releasing these videos with people talking about the modes instead of actually showing the modes in action the way it's going to play when we actually play. Like this this video posted up two days ago on the Women's Evolution, check out the dislikes to likes. Now, the, their dislike or like to dislike ratio, that dislike is starting to get to that 10%, even more than 10% in this case. And you look at the comment section and people are getting annoyed. People are pissed that we're not getting gameplay for a game that's coming out in a month. You compare this to other games that are coming out in five, six months or whatever, like Cyberpunk, for instance, which is coming out, what, April or, or March or whatever. That game's shown like, what, an hour of gameplay so far? And that game is months away compared to this, which is a month away. And you see, you see the reaction, you have less than a month, where is your gameplay? How insane is it that they didn't show any new gameplay? Never seen such a bad year for a WB2K game. Now, I've got to agree with this comment, this is probably the worst year yet for a WB game, because if you compare it to 2K19, for instance, let's take a look at the videos before 2K19 come out, or came out, I should say, and it's nowhere near the reaction that this game 2k20 is getting like this this for instance 2k19 the phenomenal one look at this 22k likes 924 dislikes big difference compared to 2k20 mostly likes here a lot more likes than this like basically they're still showing mostly you know a game footage instead of gameplay but the reaction is nowhere near 2k20 we're not getting these you know videos of people just talking about the game modes oh let's talk about exhibition mode or whatever or showcase or whatever no we're actually getting footage of these modes and you, you can check a bunch of the other videos by the way for 2k19 
Bottom line, as you can see, like the dislike, no more near 2K20. That's why I'm saying 2K20 is like the most negatively received one. And then yesterday, they boost up this video right here, another 2K Tower video. Now, they posted up this one first, this one of Roman Reigns mostly talking, and now another one. This can't be another Roman Reigns talking video, right? Even the thumbnail is like game footage. You see Roman Reigns hitting a suplex. So, people likely got their hopes up and they were like, yo, we're, we're actually getting gameplay here. Then, oh, no, Roman Reigns talking once again about how, like, how much do we need of Roman Reigns talking about 2K Tower, a mode where it's literally just one match after the other. It's nothing special. It's not this super complicated mode or anything like that. It is just pretty much a gauntlet match with loading screens. And all we got throughout this one minute and nine second video is this right here. This apron suplex. Not even like this special move or anything, a move that a bunch of people do. And that's it. Just Roman Reigns hitting a suplex. What is this supposed to do? Is this supposed to entice me in getting the game? Wow, we got a suplex. Amazing. Pre-ordering him right now. L -l Let me change that standard edition to that legendary edition or legacy. What what's what's the most expensive edition? I don't know. Ultimate edition? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. But anyways. Look at the comments section. Look at the dislike ratio here. The like to dislike ratio is starting uh, to increase in terms of the dislikes. 222 dislikes compared to 1.1k likes. And I mean, look at the comments section. It's all negative. Come on, 2K. Any new information would be great. Your marketing strategy is just disappointing this year. Suplex is the only thing we got. Can we move on from the cover and talk about actual gameplays? Uh, I'm trying to be excited, but Jesus, we need some gameplay. And I like this one right here. Where, where's the comment? Uh, there we go. WWE 2K19.5, folks. I can't wait to see the damage control comments. Yeah, there's always fanboys, you know, that will defend something uh, for, for whatever reason. Like, they, they'll defend it the, the, no matter what. Uh, I think in the last video, somebody was like, yo, a true fan, you know, just takes what they give us and doesn't criticize us. I, honestly, I'm not sure if he's trolling or not. I hope so. But yeah, some people are just big fanboys for whatever reason. I don't know. But yeah, 2K19.5, I'd say that's kind of accurate. You see, I feel like most of these games, all of these 2K games at least, feel like 0.5 increments instead of an actual 1 increment. Like it feels like 2K15 and then 2K15.5 and then 2K16 and then 2K16.5. This one, out of all the others, feels like the least amount of change. This honestly feels like 2K19.1 or 0.2 max instead of 0.5. Uh, yeah, this this guy laughing right here that all we got all they gave us is an apron suplex The game comes out in less than a month and that's all we got And it's not just on YouTube that it's getting a negative reaction You know some backlash here, but also on Twitter same thing because they post the same video on Twitter and on YouTube and People feel, feel the same here. We didn't care about these videos yesterday and we still won't care about them now and Roster reveal would be nice. My reaction to everything you tweet. And let's see here. Pointless, terrible marketing. Uh, people regretting that they pre-ordered the game. Uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's justifiable if you ask me. With so little footage shown uh, and no actual gameplay footage shown. If you ask me, I'm predicting this game to sell even less than 2K19. And if you guys aren't aware, these games keep on selling less and less and less. Probably because people are catching on every single year. Yeah, you're like, yo, this feels just like the last game. And all these games feel just like the last game. And the, the past couple of games, if you check the sales here, the estimated sales, 2K15, the first game in this gen, started off with 577k. Uh, and then it just keeps on going down, down, down. 2K16, 2K17, um, 18. It's a downward trend that keeps on going on. And it's a big difference. Actually, hold on a second here. 2K14, uh, well, 2K14 sold less than 2K18, but that was because it was probably, you know, it was the last one uh, before they went to the first next-gen game, which was 2K15. But anyways, 2K19, 364. Big difference right here from 2K18 to 2K19. And I'm sure 2K20 is going to follow the same thing. Actually, the marketing for 2K20 has been so bad I'm really curious to see the numbers for 2K20. It might be an even bigger decrease from 2K19 to 2K20 than 2K18 to 2K19. And yeah, uh, unless they change something, unless they make some big changes, I don't see this downward trend, you know, switching up and going upwards. I don't know how long the contract is with WWE and 2K, 
I'm hoping there, there's not that much time for that contract, so maybe, just maybe, WWE decides to go with somebody else, another publisher, another developer, and they go with somebody else, and maybe we get a, a great WWE game once again. Uh, until then, I don't have much hope with these WWE 2K games. I don't even think 2K21, I don't, I don't know if that's going to be, you know, on the PS5 and such. I don't have much hope for that either. Honestly, right now, in terms of wrestling games, I'm looking at what a what's AEW going to do if they're going to come out with something good? What's Ukes going to do? Are they going to go ahead and do something th together? Are we going to get a wrestling game from Ukes and AEW? But as far as WWE 2K, it's not looking good, especially for 2K20, and I'm pretty sure the reviews won't be that great either. So, hey, in the comments section, man, let me know what you guys think of all of this. What do you guys think of the lack of information of 2K20? I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think it's because they know that it looks just like the previous game, so they want to show as little of the gameplay as possible, or in this case, no actual gameplay, so you don't know what you're getting into. You know, you, you don't go, oh, this looks just like last year's game, let me cancel that pre-order or whatever. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. See ya.